Last time on Sea of Stars. No. No. No! Headmaster. Hey, at least we're safe for now. I'm sure the three of you can take on whatever that Dweller of Strife is. You don't understand. The Dweller of Strife took everything from us. More than two dozen Solstice Warriors, and yet... Oh. But the Elder Miss said... How could they? Headmaster... Let's hurry back. Y'all, what? He doesn't seem badly hurt. Probably just a lot to take in. Nothing soup won't fix. Oh, Garl. So Sarai knew they were going to do that. But how? Not the twins! Easy, Headmaster. You need rest. Thank you, young lad. You've been quite caring. Don't mention it. Zael. Valir. Yes, Headmaster. I need more time to recover. Our enemies must be at the Fleshmancer's old castle on Mesa Island by now. Mesa Island is currently unreachable, but I trust a solution will come to me if I meditate. In the meantime, please go check on on Brisk, assess the damage, and do your best to help any survivors in need. Right away. Thank you, young ones. I'll catch up with you when I am ready. I'll go immediately. See you in Brisk. Sarai, you're so cool. Y'all, we... What the... What a gosh darn diggity journey that this... I... And I... In... I mean, I knew it. I, I knew her, Lena, and then we're gonna do something. I knew it! And I was right. Something huge fell down from the sky and crashed into Brisk. I hope everyone's all right. I wonder if Edgar says anything. Just wants us to know if we want to stay the night. Anybody else say anything? So it was all true. You really did it. Yeah. Well, I guess they can leave now. Looks like the Night Shroud is staying, but is staying. But to be rid of the Banshee, no more fear. No more fear indeed. Wraith Island is free. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wasn't there one more of you? Uh, yeah. But she does that. Oh, you defeated the Dweller of Woe? Yeah, my story. <laughs> oh, you don't believe us. Well, y'all went and did your thing. Congratulations. Um, aren't you proud? Y'all just saved a bunch of, a lot of people, foul, pals, pals. We, a lot has happened and we're still catching up. Why the long face? Did something unpredictable occur? Y'all look like your mentor turned out to be the bad guy all along or something. Um... Oh, is that the one? Look, well-meaning is my middle name. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was this bad. I, It's okay, Yolanda. Just a lot to take in right now. Well, anything I can do to help? You let me know, all right? There is something. Lay it on me. Brisk was hit pretty hard. Our orders are to go back and assess the damage, see how we can help. Consider it done, son. Y'all ready to set sail then? Assuming you're all done here, of course. Uh, no. Of course, Valtrade pointing out the captain just left. Ain't been acting like herself since we arrived here. Wonder why. What is, what is, uh, Kenathan? I'd steer clear of the cursed woods if I were you. Ooh, why? Is something going on over there? Anyways, I cannot believe. I mean, I knew that Orlita was up to something. I just wasn't sure if Brewgraves, Brewgaves was going to fall for it. And then, and, ah, I'm so excited to see what happens next. It's time to save Brisk and stop the Dweller of Strife. Okay, it's probably not going to stop the Dweller of Strife, but we do need to at least help the town of Brisk, and the pirates are going to be our way to get there. It looks like it is pretty pressing that we get to the town that is being absolutely destroyed. So, to Brisk.
With the resurrection of the Dweller of Strife announcing a reign of terror thought forever gone, hope appears slim for a world with only three Solstice Warriors left. The Veil of Lies now lifted, and part of their innocence left behind. Our heroes head back to Brisk, while their headmaster searches for a way to reach Mesa Island. Committed to helping the Cataclysm survivors, they will soon dive headfirst into the eye of the storm to confront a legendary ancient curse. In today's episode of Sea of Stars. The Dweller crashed right in the middle of town. Sarai's over there. Sorry, we're late. Let's do this. Yeah! We're fighting some Strife minions that have... I'm sorry. They have how much health now? Well, I guess they're Strife minions, so they should go down pretty easy to Solstice magic, right? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Uh, I'm not... Oh, can I just... I'm gonna just kill you? And then we'll have her boost. And she'll be able to do a ton of damage to take it out. 270! Live mana, baby. These are way stronger than what we fought in the mansion. This Dweller of Strife really must be formidable. And no Eclipse anytime soon. There's gotta be a way. Let's clear what we can. The Dweller must have crashed somewhere. We have to find it. We are not going to be able to take the Dweller of Strife if it was able to kill just too many. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Hey, you're safe now. Find Yolanda at the docks. Her group will keep you safe. Oh, Solstice Warriors? Oh, Luana be praised. Please help the others. We've heard of Luana before. Look, oh my, I can't believe they destroyed Brisk like this. What about all the items? Oh no. Hey pal, any other villager you find, just send them right to us. Don't you worry about us. We can fend for ourselves. We will protect these villagers or my name is not Kenafin. All right. Thanks again for saving me, you're welcome. We have a merchant. We lost almost everything in the Cataclysm. But if there's anything you need to buy for the journey, we'll use that money to rebuild. Oh, do I like, should I buy stuff then? Nah. Nah, they gooch. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw my grapple at your face. All right, well, we're going this way then. Never mind. So, is that where the dweller landed? Does that mean all everything from previous Brisk is now gone? Oh gosh, I hope not. All right, but before we do that, we're gonna go over here and hello. I almost got crushed when everything crumbled. Thank you so much for getting me out. Here, it's not much, but I hope it can help. We get a basic salad. Thank you for that person. All right, let's get back up there. Uh-oh. I doubt it. They'll probably rebuild and any items we'll be able to find, I hope. Yeah, let's do it, minions of strife. We'll go ahead and boost here so that we can get a big attack on them. Only 258 damage though. Whoa, okay. Oh, I was expecting a ton more damage. I'm not too worried about these then. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and just a moon ring. Nice. I don't know what that eyeball does. It's got zero health, so I'm assuming we just ignore it. That's two eyeballs. We're gonna boost here. Nice. I really like the idea that Solstice magic does a ton to specifically dwellers and dweller minions. 
Thank you. I was certain I was going to die here today. Can you get to the docks on your own? People are gathering there while we take care of the monsters. I- Yes, I can make it. Thank you. I wish I had more to offer. Hey, they gave us a tomato club. That's nice of them. Yeah, there's no way, like, wheels is now gone. There's no way. I'm not worried. I don't think they're going to have, like, I don't think anything's missable here in Brisk. I bet you they're just going to repair the town. Uh, I'm thinking we probably got everything. Oh, there's a ladder here. Use that. Go up. This is awesome, though. Big fan. Big fan of this whole, whole area. Looks like there's actually somebody over there behind the rocks. Maybe we can drop down and get them? No? All right. Well, jump over here and grab loot. Now can I drop down? No. All right. I think we have to go a different way to get them. Climb up here. Oh, we can use this box for sure, though. Nice. We haven't actually had to use our fart bracelet in quite a while. Well, let's see if we can... I wasn't sure if maybe we could, like, move the blocks for those people. Oh, it didn't let me grab blue. That's weird. Okay, we're gonna use, uh, hopefully a big sunball here. Deleted. And I wonder, I'm guessing Sarai is not gonna, I mean, it'd be cool if she could, but we do have Garl still in our team. It's not like he's gone. Yeah, he, his poison doesn't obviously do anything. That's okay. That's fine. We need to get MP back. Oh, and we get a level up. Level nine now on our boy Zale. And uh, I guess at this point, we're just gonna go I mean, magic is more important than anything, or MP, but health is also not the worst idea, just to increase our health pools. I think I'm just going to go for physical attack, though. Who needs health if everything dies before it hits you? And we're going to go with uh, physical attack on Garl as well. Sarai is definitely going to go mana points. She's getting one this level, but we'll have her get two because I, it, the more the more MP she has, the better. And uh, yeah, same for same for her now, especially with lunar shields. I definitely I definitely changed the way I feel about mana. That is for sure. All right, so it looks like we can hop down this hole here and save this guy. I'm stuck behind this big block that fell. Can you move it? Yeah. Look okay, at I farted on it. Oof, that was close. I should head for the docks. Thank you so much. Here. Oh, so it looks like they'll all just give us some foodstuffs. All right, well, there was another person that was stuck. Uh, maybe we can get them later. We'll just continue this way for now. There was that lady behind the rocks. Sleeper statue's still fine. Ha! Nice. Oh, three of them. All right. So what we're going to do here is actually get a little bit, a little bit different. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to swap for Garl. Garl's going to cook her surprise. No, that's new though. We did get cooker surprise in the last one. Unfortunately, we don't have enough to be able to, well, she can moonerang at least. Actually, uh, yep. Dang, I did not think that the eyeball... Oh, we can attack the eyeball. I don't know if it's worth, though. Delete that. Okay. Interesting. a sunball. That'll shrek these no problem. 
Wow. 1,200. With almost 1,300 XP for that. Oh, this part is, of the game is so dope. All right, we can jump down here. It reminds me of like, oh, there's just so many, so many. It's so cool. I'm, I'm a little surprised and impressed that they just destroyed Brisk like this. Like I, 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 I don't know, because it's like an indie game. Maybe I wasn't. I don't know, but it's amazing. Ugh. All those innocent people. How big is this thing? Hey, you're Solstice Warriors, aren't you? Yeah? We've cleared out the monsters. It's over for now. The big one flew away. It might come back. Ah! Don't worry about it. My friends here are stronger than the big monster. Um, really? Totally. Uh... Ah! It's safe here for now. Please gather at the docks with the others. We're not giving up on you. We'll figure this out, I promise. Th thank you. I hope my brother is okay. We can't stay here. Where are we going to go? We need to find new lives for ourselves. I was born here and I'll die here, just like my ancestors. We can rebuild. I'd rather move somewhere new. Wah! Okay, hold tight while we figure this out. What should we do here? Clearly some of them need to move on, but... There's too many of them for Lucent. Plus that town already has its own healing to worry about. Yolanda, are there any other places you can think of? I reckon a fresh start be just what some of them need. Kenathan? How about the small island to the northeast? Oh, the unclaimed one that's filled with pine trees. That could work. Precisely. We know the way, but the Oakham skiff won't get us there. Gotta hit the open sea for that, so we'll need a proper ship. Okay, that's a good lead. Good news, everyone. We know the perfect place for those who wish to leave Brisk and start anew. Yay! Does anyone have a ship we can borrow? Listen, bud, practicality is my middle name, but this here port is totaled. That leaves but one option, it would seem. Oh, I like where this is going, pal. Well, then speak up, tall guy. Ha-ha! We claim the Vespertine! That's a negative, matey. Ain't no pulling that trigger without the captain's say-so. Oh. Kenathan is right. The time has come. Ahoy, Captain! We thought you're gone! Hmm. Will the ship be good enough to carry settlers to the island Yolanda mentioned? Look alive, son! The Vespertine could even sail the Sea of... Yolanda! Sea of Stars. Apologies, Captain. It'll take us there, guaranteed. Okay, so what's the plan? The boat is cursed, isn't it? In fact, that's the easy part. All we gotta do is get on board, meet the owner, and let the captain buy the ship using the coin of On Death Accord y'all fetched earlier. Uh... A sound plan. Without even breaking a sweat. Ahem, uh -huh. we'll see about that. For now, we hike to the peninsula and wait. As dusk falls, the Vespertine will appear but for but a brief moment. The window is short, so we must jump aboard without hesitation. All in a day's work, Captain. Ah! <laughs> so pumped for this. The three of you are not coming with us. Love you, All Mites. Captain? If we don't make it back, you must find another way to help the villagers find their new land. No way! We've been prepping for this forever. Our end goal remains the same, but for this step I need you to stay safe. Can you do that for me? I will do as the captain commands, or my name is not Kenathan. 
Aye, aye, Captain. Can we at least see you safely to the peninsula? Of course. Let me know when you are ready. Welp. Huh. I still can't believe what happened. It was so sudden. So it looks like some... I'm staying. We will rebuild and make Brisk even better than it used to be. Alright, I believe them though. I think they will actually do that. Solstice Warriors, I wanted to thank you again for saving me earlier. Yeah, no worries. I heard you helped villagers too. Please accept a small reward. We get mushroom soup. For helping them? With the power of editing, you didn't see me miss a civilian, but I did. So if you talk to him, if you if you miss the civilian and you talk to this guy here, if you miss any of them, then he'll give you a uh, a mushroom soup. But if you get them all and you talk to this guy, he'll actually give you a basic armor. I don't know if those are randomized or anything, but that's what it seems to do. So he actually gave me a basic armor, which is kind of useless. Uh, I would actually rather the mushroom soup, I think. But we can probably sell the basic armor for more. So it's worth doing that. Also, Yolanda specifically, I, I was like, oh, it looks like we can... No, no, no. Yolanda... Need to do some shopping? We can go back to Wraith Island real quick. So if you missed anything in Wraith Island, it looks like you can do that. Or if you come over here, there's a path amongst the amidst the rubble. Exit brisk? Yes. And if you do that, dear friend and viewer, we will find ourselves here on the world map, which is very interesting. Brisk looks fine on the map. It's just when you get back in, it looks, you know, not good. And I don't think there's any reason to go back to Wraith Island either because we did, we, we did the Solstice Shrine. I'm pretty sure we got everything. So we do have the Quizmaster thing that we could do, but I think we're going to continue on here. It's truly exciting to be nearing the payoff from all our attempts to get the coin of On Death Accord. It will be a transaction for the ages. Except for... Well, I, maybe it wasn't Captain Cliché, of course, but Sarai did spin that coin. At last, the Vespertine. Talk to Captain Cliché, and let's go claim the Vespertine. And then he went, Behold the pain of everlasting sin, and turned into some... Half something form with a beautiful face blowing softly on an apple with feathered wings. Huh. What are you referencing there, I wonder? Chugged about 26 of the elixirs we had been saving for later, and eventually we won. <laughs> Huzzah! A valiant battle. Uh. Whoa! Get ready. We jump on the next flash. Orders, Captain? Keep the villagers safe until our return. Can do, will do. Safe journeys, Captain. I love them. With everything happening, it seems there will never be time to explain, so... Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Who would have thought? <laughs> Please don't tell my crew. Who would have thought is the trophy? Please don't tell me they're gonna act surprised at all. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Sarai, we sort of knew already. Huh? Then why didn't you say anything? You're clearly on our side. It's all that matters. Yeah, whatever your reasons are, they must be good. Oh, and thanks for spending the coin to save me. I... <laughs> we agreed to let you keep your secret, but it's good to see you trust us now. I... I I'm sorry, I should have... It's okay, we're a team now. So, do you understand claiming the Vespertine won't be as easy as we thought? Yep, and it just so happens we owe you one, so all the better. Huh. Thank you. Oh, Sarai. Now. Whoop.
the Vespertine. Ye fools! The Vespertine will return to the Sea of Nightmare any second. Get off right now! The what? Oh no! Uh... What happened? I saw someone and then... Welcome to the Sea of Nightmare! Nice going, binding your souls to an ancient pirate curse like that. Hello, we plan on claiming the ship for ourselves. <laughs> no, that's a good one. And how do y'all plan on doing that? These two are solstice warriors. Pardon? They can use solstice magic. No creature is immune to it. Solstice magic, huh? How can such a coincidence? You're another hallucination, ain't ya? Brace! All right. Stormcaller has sensed your presence. I suppose this makes you real. So you're the one known as the Navigator? Portents be the name. Use it. Can't imagine how y'all ended up here, but it's a relief someone can finally fight those things. You mean the ghost pirates, aren't they? My former crewmates, I going along with mutiny will do you in like little else. Well, I suppose instigate mutiny is worse. Sometimes I wish I was also made an undead of the brainless sort. So your former captain, the Stormcaller, how can we stop him? If the last couple centuries have taught me anything, it's that we can't. See, the curse only has two possible outcomes. Either Stormcaller gives up, or I let the Vespertine sink. And by the looks of it, neither is happening anytime soon. What if we fought him? Oh, look alive! A Stormcaller be the most formidable wind mage the world has ever known. We can hold our own in battle. Oh, reckon you can beat a grudge so strong and magic to parallel nightmare realm in which to torture a crew for all eternity? Huh? Look, if y'all are foolish enough to wag your swords at him, I won't stop you. But first, his wind barrier needs weakening. Where do we begin? There are three lightning rods sending power back to the maelstrom where he channels this never-ending storm. Y'all want to confront him? That's the first step. Where are the rods? Even if I knew, ain't no way to tell which way is up in this nightmare. Okay, how about this for a first test? My map should be below deck. In the kitchen past the crew quarters. If y'all can fetch it and return alive, I'll entertain this plan of yours. One map coming up. And we are on a pirate ghost ship. Ledger Dragoon, anyone? My map should be below decks. All right. Ow, ow. Did that do damage? No, okay, good. All right, so we can't cross the fire. Can we grapple across? No. Can we climb this? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, baby. Wait a minute. See if there's anything up here, though? I don't see anything. But you never know. Looks like we need a way to put out this fire. The Vespertine. I knew we were going to claim it. Remember the story that Teeks told us way back in... Oh, jeez. I think, like, when we first found Teeks. No, it was the second story from Teeks. All right, looks like we can just leap off. Nice. Oh, this is dope. All right, what do we want to do? We got one of the... Oh, this is interesting. The Melee Mate. Mate. That's the one that we fought in the... The one that wanted the Turbo Cookie. That's pretty cool. And then there's also the ranged mateys. Very clever names on... Yeah, all right. Uh, we're going to see... It looks like we're not able to get a double up here. So what we're going to do instead is... We can break that lock. Or we can dash strike. Yeah, we dash strike. I guess that didn't do that much, now did it? Woo! 
that does some damage. All right, we're gonna Moon Ring here. 73, 63. Moon Ring or Lunar Shield is probably gonna be a better bet, but we're gonna go ahead and do that. And let's finally uh, try out Garl's new Cooker Surprise. Oh my gosh. That did a ton of damage. They're vulnerable to... All right, so they're vulnerable to melee attacks, maybe? Uh, slicing or... Hmm. Let's go ahead and throw a big healing light. Nice. Woo. And she's only got five. Yeah, they're vulnerable to that. 972 XP. And that removes the fire. Ah. Get some bones and we can pick up some of that. Some fresh food, baby. All right. Looks like we can go down here. I think first we're going to go all the way this way, though, and check out this area where we can find a hearty stew. Can't carry any more meals. Ow, oh, son of a gun. We'll go ahead and eat the cheap food that we had there so that we can pick this up. That free hearty stew. Looks like a log book. We're not able to see what the log book is though. Ooh, it looks like we can also head out. Oh, nice. Ooh, moon cradle fish pie. We can all we did get the recipe for that in the last episode as well. So we can craft that, and that's a very good item at this point. Does a party-wide heal as well as restores MP, which is really nice. So it looks like we have to head down here now to the kitchen area. Ooh, there's a lot of food. Let's uh Yeah! Clean, baby. Speaking of MP, we don't really have any now, do we? So the melee maydays, 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 maydays are weak to, they're weak to magic. So I think we're actually gonna go ahead and swap in Sarai here, who can use Venom Flurry. And we'll hope for a big Moonerang as well. Getting rid of one of the melee maydays, Soul Ribs. Such a cool attack. And we'll just use a big boost and we can finish off this one. Not that we needed to use the boost, but why not? 972 experience. Wow. Bonkers. Another hearty stew. We can't carry any of those, so we'll just go ahead and use that real quick. On uh, there we go. Now we can pick that up. A lot of enemies here. Holy smokes. I guess that makes sense. Stormcaller. Yeah, we heard the tale. The Wind Mage versus the... We've heard all of that before. Alright, so here we're gonna go ahead and use Garl to hurl this guy over into that area. For real? All three of them were like, hey, we're going right for... We're going right for, uh, Zale. We'll use a boost, and then we can attack this guy. Nice. Got the timing on that. I think so much of the timings are overthinking. So, only blunt damage here on the ranged guys. Getting like a fat... 1300 XP or so every time. We're gonna go ahead and use a mushroom soup there just to get everybody up and we're about to pick up a moon cradle fish pie, another one. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this area. And the fire is still going, so I guess that's just a little extra. I mean, you gotta kill everything if you wanna move the remove the fire, I believe. So we gotta go this way then. Fight three melee made haze. Uh, this is another situation here where I think we're going to use Pearl. And then we'll go ahead and boost here and... Ooh, I don't have enough for that, do I? All right. I 
if we swap to Sarai, she does have enough for a Venom Flurry, so we'll use that and hope for the best. Oh my gosh! That was so good, though! You know, for me, at least the Soul Rend is very easy to block. So, I'm not mad about that. Alright, let's go ahead and get some MP back here. And Sarai can finish this one. 40 damage. Huge. Huge. Look at that. Come grab this chest and get a map. That's the map. Let's return to Hortense. Uh, well, what we got we got some stuff to grab here first, if you don't mind. Including a book. I think we got everything here, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, rest real quick. We're saved in the Sea of Nightmare. Let's go give this map back to Hortense. Ooh, we can't go that way. We gotta go around. Oh, she's over here now. Hey, y'all are starting to give me hope. So how can we find the rods? The magic map connects to the sea. It should allow you to get an idea of the place. Okay, we got this. Why don't you take the wheel? I could certainly use a break. Wait, what? All right, let's see you sail. Three islands, one rod each. Once they're out, we can storm Maelstrom Point and take the fight to Stormcaller. While sailing, hold square to move forward. And those to, what? The map can be opened by pressing that. Shows your current location as well as your objective. I'm sorry. We can do what now? Well, we're going to go. This is what? All right. We're going to go this way then. This is so cool. So this is the Sea of Nightmare. Can we set up a camp? We can set up a camp here. Hang on, I'm just curious. So if you needed a little refresher on this. Hortense seems nice. We're doing something good here. It's Erlina I'm the most angry at. Stormcaller. About time someone puts an end to this. Hmm. Garl? Hortense sure is something. Can you imagine holding the bar for that long? So the plan is to claim the ship is ours? And then again, if we wanted to talk to... Teak, she does have a story about the Vespertine. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had known, and their navigator was Hortense, the shrewdest mariner on record. Their skill together made the ship incredibly fast. They went on many adventures and made countless riches until the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced she wanted to quit the pirate life. And Stormcaller said, no, no, no. He stopped conjuring wind for the sails, locked it right in the middle of the ocean, and said, we are going to stay here until the navigator decides that she is going to navigate. But Hortense had already made her decision. Days went by, both of them sulking, while the crew begged that they reached some solution. They ran out of drinking water. After sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. As he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an internal prison in the Sea of Nightmare. He would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. And to this day, it's still happening. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day for but for a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured, right when we jumped. That, my friends, is what we're here to solve. So let's do it. So we gotta deal with this lightning rod. This, air, this is cool. This is really cool. I like it. Oh, they gave us another camp right away, but we already, we just used one, so. Okay. 
What is this? We can probably use the grappler to smash those crystals. I think we need to get up high enough to do that, though. Oh, there, there's something up there. Hmm. Can I not do anything with those? Well, there's pirates there. We'll beat these guys first. Oh, I hope another one jumped out of the damn. Okay. Oh, we'll go ahead and grab that and do a big uh, dash strike. I feel like Sunball is the way to go. Use that Moonerang to destroy the melee mate. And we're going to cook a surprise on all of these here. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, Garl. And we'll finish it up with a Valir. Nice. And then we can pick up, well, one, what they dropped, and then whatever those are, which I'm assuming goes into Curse to Bloons. All right, so we need to use the Curse to Bloons. We can, we can go in the water here. Destroy the crystals with our grapple. I think we need to lower it first. So we put in one of those and then. All right, hang on. So we know that we need something. We need to do something over here with these, but I don't think I can move them. I think I. Uh, well, okay, we can move that one. And then that way. There we go. All right, so we got that. I don't think we need anything else from those. Let's see what's up over here. This feels like a battle of some kind, maybe. This area is so cool. Another curse to balloon. Ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we could fight him first, but. Alright, we're actually going to swap to Sarai. And use Venom Flurry, see if we can get any. Alright, and then Moonerang time. My hope here is that we'll be able to get both of these. Definitely, we should be able to get both of these locks. Nice. Then this guy will shoot. But that's okay. Because we are going to just attack. For exactly 61 damage. The exact amount it took to actually beat that guy. These pirates are pretty cool, actually. Wish we could shoot that cannon, but... Looks like we could jump off over there. But I think we're going to go this way instead. Kind of do like a big circle around here. Surely there's some stuff. I can actually see the doubloon. Okay, we can't actually get up this way. Grab this one though. Nice. I'm not seeing any like, items or anything either, which is odd. Get an attack in on that. And this is actually looking like a perfect spot for Garl to cook her surprise, I think. We'll give him a boost. Cook her surprise. Uh, yes, perfect. Not quite enough to kill those, but... What's odd is that their lock attack for the ranged mateys is actually easier to deal with than than anything else. Isn't that weird? Nice. Defeated those. Another close to a thousand XP every single time we do that. We can grab this coin as well. Whoop, there we go. So we have a few of those now. 
kind of going all over the place, but it looks like we do need to go this way because there was one uh, up here. And we can do that, come across on the tightrope. Oh, this is, that's a cool, that's a really cool little map area there. All right, I think that's probably our last one. Now we can just jump down here, go back up to the center area. So we're gonna use our grapplu. So put these in. This is gonna cause this. Maybe to lower? Ah, uh, even better. Swim around and be able to take these out this way. And this will be our first lightning rod of three. Oh, yeah, baby. Ah, uh, just barely too far. All right, so then we got to do this side, too. This is dope. No items, though, in this area. Looks like we were able to destroy this lightning rod. And maybe use this opportunity to rest real quick. Back to our Vespertine here. I feel like this is a sign of what's to come after we get out of this parallel Sea of Nightmare universe. We're going to head over to the... I think we're just going to go straight across and take out this map as well, or this island as well. Yep. This is so cool. Very different than anything it feels like we've done so far. We have another save, another rest. Same situation here. Gonna go to the... I guess we gotta go this way first to go up here. We do have some mateys to deal with. Yeah! Wapalu! Alright, cool. It's just these two. So we're gonna go ahead and use a. I think we're just gonna boost here. And use a sunball. Deleted. And then we'll go ahead and use him to just uh, attack. He's not going to be able to kill it, but he's very close. There we go. So is she, though. She actually can one-shot it. Garl can't, so good to know. We'll use her for that bludgeoning damage instead. Blunt damage. Huh. Curious what this area is, what that's for, then. A switch there. We need to jump over here. Looks like all of these islands are just like little mini puzzles that we have to solve, which we can do that. We're super smart. All right, hit those. Go ahead and swap to Sarai so she can use Venom Flurry. I don't like using Sarai actually when she's at the top like that. Because then we can't see we can't see the timing on that her jump and boom wipe those guys out real quick just with basic attacks after that didn't really do too much there and uh, looks like we can go oh so we're just I see we can just destroy these right away I see I see we don't need to do the they're already in position so we don't we just need to I see I see. I was thinking we were looking for more of those things, but we're not. This is definitely an easy island comparatively to the one we just did. Easy puzzles. Go ahead, break that real quick. Jump over here, flip the switch. Weird that there's like no items though on any of these, as far as I can tell. Haha! -ha! 
gosh, I love the Graplu. You know, in case I didn't say it enough yet. All right, we're gonna get a boost on Garl. I don't think it's gonna be enough to cook or surprise these, but maybe one of them. All right, defeated those. So we just got this last crystal to break and that will be our second lightning rod destroyed. Almost there, baby. One more, maybe? Does it say anything? No, okay. Uh, do we want to rest? Yeah, I mean, we don't know what the last island's gonna be, so. And back to the Vespertine. And we're heading north, baby. I'm very excited if this means that we get to sail around, which I'm thinking we're gonna be able to. Going up north, taking down the third lightning rod. Too bad we didn't have that coin of on death accord, huh? I don't know if we would have been able to use it. We have another, you know, rest point and all that. This, this one's looking like an interesting, key, uh, interesting island. go that way. It just jumps off, so. Can't go that way. Can jump down. That brings us back down to where we just were, so we don't want to do that. Oh. Oh, no! That's a lot of you. At least these fights are very rinse and repeat. All right, finish that off and actually might even get a level. We just got a level fighting those minions or the, the strife, the minions of strife, whatever they were. And it looks like we might actually get another one just in this area because these pirates are so rewarding. Looks like there's a little, I don't know if we need that though. Looks like we can just grapple on. Oh, ooh, we got, yeah. So many pirates. Holy smokes. All right, we're going to use a boost here. Sunball right in the middle. Nice. Was able to take them out. That was actually a really easy fight because of the sunball. The early sun boosted sunball there did so much damage. Doesn't look like there's anything else. It's so weird to be that this whole area, there's no items. Nothing at all so far sure maybe the central area there once we destroy all of these we'll have more oh i see the lightning oh we can use this to get over here break this one real quick so these are i do like that they change the layout and it's not just the same thing every time i think that's dope actually it looks like maybe this is it Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Can I just jump down here. We are out. Uh, maybe rest here? Sure. And let's head to the center area and take this fight potentially to the Stormcaller himself. The Wind Mage that was so powerful was able to create the Sea of Nightmare. Oh, yeah, we can get over here now. Here we go. Maelstrom Point. Looks like we can't go that way. The music is so good, so cool, like, ooh. Oh, nice, we actually haven't had one of those little shimmies in a while. This 
is really neat. This is so cool. Oh my god. The game just keeps impressing me the further we get. Uh, we did just rest, so I'm actually just gonna save here. I guess we could just double check on our items and everything. I think we're f probably fine. We got 10 out of 10. Uh, we got best we could do for equipment at the moment. I mean, can't really do anything else. We do have undead stuff still. We don't have a new weapon for Garl, but that's okay. I'm guessing we're about to get into... Oh, yeah. The tide brings trespassers to my realm. We've come to free the Vespertine from your curse. Ah, uh, is this how landlubbers refer to my ship now? Who cares? We're ending this now. Uh, so it is that my reign is challenged once more. I am Stormcaller. The sea of nightmare corrupts all, and in time, consumes all. If you would try your luck, Make sure your aim is true. For now, the storm calls for you! Yo, this guy is dope. Storm caller. Well, how do we want to deal with this guy? I guess find out some of his weaknesses right away. The music here is so good! Yep, well, let's just go ahead and hit him. Takes neutral damage to that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Let's just hit him with some blood. Whoa. All right, so he has a similar move to the melee dudes. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a boost on... Sarai, just to see if poison does anything. It does not. All right. All right, we're going to get a... Yeah, we're going to pop that here. We're going to use a disorient, maybe? Good. And we'll attack with... That is a really... Whatever he's doing, that channel looks really cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack with... To get that double. Not Still not sure what he's weak to yet. Uh, use Lunar Shields. Nice. And we'll be able to at least get... One of those down. Chain lightning. Haha, -ha, Lunar Shield Clutch. We're actually just gonna go ahead and you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna berry jam on our girl Valir, and then she's just gonna go ahead and attack. This way we can get another lunar shield out. Holy smokes, you are being not nice to me, huh? I think we just disorient again. Actually. We'll swap to Garl. Use that, and then uh, just hit. And then we'll disorient. Push that back, allows her to set up another Lunar Shields. The problem is, is the Lunar Shield is going to be out on Garl. But I think that's okay. Right? Because if I switch to... I mean, it'd be cool. Yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't stay on him. So we're going to switch back to Garl for this so that... We can just get hit by this. And I'm thinking we berry jam again on Valir. Ruler of Tides. What? Oh, 
Oh my god. That was so cool. Uh but it it definitely just went through my lunar shield, I believe. And we're gonna just attack here. We wanna you get that combo up for sure. And then we're gonna attack with her because uh, I want that MP. All right, and then we're gonna swap to Zale. We're gonna Mending Light. All right, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt quite a bit. She can't disorient, but we can at least get a big boost and maybe take out some of these. Oops. Well, this is gonna hurt. That is, that is the, the coolest attack I've seen in the game so far. Was able to get the timing on that though. So we are going to, we're actually going to use I think we're gonna use a moon crater. No, not yet. All right, so I don't think this one's gonna be a ruler of the tides then, just be based on the way that works. Uh, so we're gonna get a boost here and then, no wait. I think we're gonna do another lunar shield here. Good. And then we'll use, we'll actually get her to do a boost and then disorient. We'll do a regular attack. And then uh, she's not gonna be able to do, she's not gonna be able to do any moon damage. Well, she'll be able to do a little bit of moon damage. I think that's okay. Again, it doesn't totally matter though, right? All right, so Lunar Shield gone. We use a, I'm out of berry pie, that's, or berry stuff, that's okay. We do get more MP back with her, or we just Moon Crater, Moon Cradle Pie. Maybe that's why they gave us so many of those and then he doesn't need anything, so he can just sunball. This is a, an amazing fight. Doesn't look like he's vulnerable to literally anything, though. All right, so here's what I'm scared of. We have no way of. I can take. I can take a full. I can take a full hit here. Actually, we actually need her to attack, so she has enough MP. And this is gonna be another ruler of tides. One of the, this is like one of the coolest looking attacks I've seen in the entire game. It's so cool. God dang, that's a lot of damage, but that's okay because we have a fat mending light we can actually use right away. Got the timing on that, not that it matters because it full heals no matter what. And then we'll throw out a lunar shield, cause we can. Getting the timing on that a little bit better too here. Obviously we're not gonna, we're gonna keep her MP around. Dang, he's tough. He is a tough guy. Uh, if I use, the problem here is I can, I can do a th big three boost for a big moon ring. Probably not the worst idea. I'm not gonna be able to get a lunar shield out. So, hey, let's three boost. Let's moon ring. And we got it! 
Yo ho! No! And a fat level up. Stormcaller just got called to the. Just got called to the. Just. Anyways, mana points. I mean, I feel like a little bit less. Mana is like a little bit less important for Zale, but I'll give him it. Garl, what are you taking? Mana? Ah, uh, Garl. Yeah, all right. I guess that's just like an easy level choice now, huh? It's just like, now that we've seen what that means, we're just like, okay, we'll just take mana. Uh, for Valir, we're actually just going to take HP on that, that level up there. And Sarai. Ah, uh, girl, I'm going to... I think we're going to take some HP for you as well. She has, like, some of the lowest right now, so... Whew, we did it. The tremors are too strong. We have to get out of here. To the ship! Well, yeah, I mean, the whole place is about to go away. The deed is done. What now? We brace! It's finally over, Hortense. <laughs> now that feels good. Hey, I know you haven't had a break in forever, but uh, there's people we still need to help. I reckon I owe you one. Friends of yours or friends of mine? Take me to them. Oh my God, will Hortense start playing music with the band? Oh, oh geez, I hope so. Look at that. I knew it. We have the Vespertine. Oh, they are... Wow. But I must admit, the sea monster kind of creeped me out. Was it called Hydrolion? Lion? Hydrolion? No idea, but it was massive. Oh, I hope Hortense will let me ask her some questions. I have so many. Oh, the sea monster that he he rode on for the ruler of the tides thing? That was dope. That there be a quest worthy of my support. So we have a deal. Aye, ship's yours, and I'll be your navigator. I've only sailed it once, but I'll be damned if I can't pull it off again. Hmm. How much do you know? Enough to see through your disguises. You're one of them, aye? No worries, I ain't telling. So these two solstice warriors be coming along to help? I was hoping that in the end they would, if I helped them first. Well then, I reckon we have a shot. Hortense, I... Don't mention it. I owe you a debt for pulling me out of actual hell, remember? I... Thank you. Ha. Huh. Looks like some secrets are still being kept. Ahoy, navigator. Hortense be the name, please use it. Aye, it's just stories say you were quite the mandolin player back in the day. That's Octave Mandolin, son. She won a duel against the legendary Shurdrick. I've certainly dabbled. This game's incredible. Wow! My, I reckon you should join this little bardcore band of ours. Huh, I don't see why not. I knew it! Huzzah! This eternity thing just got a whole lot better. Welcome to the crew, Hortense. The Vespertine is ours. Just talk to Hortense when you're ready to transport the settlers. This game rocks my socks! Gain of what's going on? I feel for these people. Cool. After all this time, the Vespertine is ours. Aha! Building a new town from the ground up, huh? This should be fun. Hey, I wonder. I'm. Can we not jump in the water? Can we not? But there's. 
But there's a place under there. Uh-oh. Welp. Hello. I'm hesitating on what I should take with me to this new place. Hey, Teeks. The Vespertine. I can't believe it. Yeah. You have, like, a whole story and whatnot. We're ready to leave when you are. I shouldn't have judged the pirate crew so fast. They're really kind-hearted. Yeah, they're cool. I'm a fan of them. This person's too dangerous to go beyond this point. The renovations are underway. I mean, they're making some pretty good progress for a town that was literally just destroyed. Like, they're doing... They're doing well. I uh, doubt the merchant has anything new for... Ooh, nope. Yeah. Oh, this is... That's interesting. Now that merchant actually sells the stuff that Brisk had before that. We have 742 golds. Wow. We're actually doing pretty well on golds, it feels like. Mom! 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 Are we going to sail in that super cool butt? This will be a big change for my son. I hope he'll be alright. Uh, if he doesn't shut up, he won't. No, just kidding. I'm sorry. Some people would rather start anew somewhere else. Yeah, well, hey. It doesn't look like there's anything... Like, we can't can't even get over there yet. I think this will be back to normal. Or at least, like... I don't know. It doesn't really feel like... I'd be surprised if there were missable things. You know? I guess we'll find out, though, team. I, that's everything that we can do here in Brisk. And I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, we'll end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching as we freed Hortense from the Stormcaller's doom. In the next episode, we will take some of these brisk folks somewhere safer. An island, I think they said, to the northeast. So we will talk to Hortense, get a boat, and uh, I think... The Sea of Stars is about to open up for us. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Stormcaller. Bye, everyone.